Our next guest danced his way to fame on Dancing with the Stars. Many of you know on the West Coast his presence on the radio. Our next guest is the host of Chain Reaction on the GSN Network. Mike, it's great having you with us. And let me ask you, did you ever play that game growing up? Yes. Yes, I did. I used to, uh, in the, they, they had a, originally it was on in the 80s, and then they brought, brought it back for a second incarnation in like the mid-2000s. And uh, I used to play that version, and I was pretty good at home, and I'm not very good anymore. Uh, now that I host it, I realize how hard it is when you're, you're trying to play the game live on a stage, and uh, it's not easy. I'm terrible. <laughs> so, Mike, tell us, what's coming to the Game Show Network? It really is a great show. It's a lot of fun, and it, it, it's, I stand behind the fact that it is the greatest game show to play along at home because uh, it's a word association game. Um, it's nothing trivia-based. There's no kind of tricks. You're given a word, and you try to, you know, try to fill in the missing blanks in a chain of words, seven words total, and you got to guess. you got to guess what word makes sense with the word behind it and the word in front of it. And, um, and it, there's nothing very complicated to it, and you just you get wrapped up in it. You get wrapped up in it uh, a lot, and it's a fast-paced game and very classic in its sense. Well, cool indeed. So, Mike, tell us, are you giving away money while you're hosting? Are you making fun of people? It's a nice combination of both, Mr. Jackson. I, I, uh, we give away money uh, to people who are good at the game, and I make fun of a lot of people who, uh, who say very dumb stuff. The great thing about Chain Reaction is because of the short time limits and trying to guess these words. And oftentimes there is no, I mean, it really is difficult to kind of come up with a word um, because you don't have any like evidence uh, uh, to what the right answer might be. So people will just throw stuff out there, and there's a lot of really, really, really dumb answers from a lot of really smart people on Chain Reaction. So uh, it just tees me up to, uh, to poke fun at them. And then hopefully at the end of the day, someone goes home with a nice chunk of change, and, and everybody's happy. Who doesn't love happy? So when you win on a game show, do you go on to the next day? No, you, got, you, go, you only get one shot at it. But, Con, I've thought about that. It would be... If there's a second season, I want to push to make it one of those things where if you dominate a chain reaction, you get a chance to come back uh, a la Ken Jennings on Je Jeopardy. Because I would like to see certain teams that are just uh, real killers come back over and over again. Well, that certainly is a good idea. I certainly hope there's a year two because I know you're going to be a great host. But given your tremendous success, any advice you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams? Um... Honestly, I, you know, this is going to sound so like Hallmark and kind of cheeseball, but you only get really one shot at life, and it's not that long when you think about it. So kind of really analyze what you put up as a premium, and if it's a paycheck and nice cars and a nice house, then so be it. But I, I really I value more so than anything is that I get to go to work every day and do something that I really, really enjoy. And talking on the radio and being on TV – it brings me so much happiness, and knowing that that's what you get to do with your job uh, is something that makes you happy. It's, there's, no, there's no value you can put on that. So just know that you can do it. Give up on the job that you, you hate and pursue something that really makes you happy. Well, we're certainly glad you are pursuing it, following your own advice, because we get to enjoy it so much. Congratulations on the new show, and thanks for being with us. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.